Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, we don't really know what happened. Same happened, uh, I think, two live streams ago where I was uh, fumbling around with the phone in the park and uh, couldn't really figure it out. So uh, sorry for keeping you guys hanging for, what, a few minutes? But uh, we're here. Welcome. Nice to have you. Uh, we promised today would be really a... Uh, hard day. Yeah, it would be hard, but it would also be the shortest workout we had. Uh, we also promised five completely new exercises. Um, and we're gonna keep that promise. It's gonna be much more, I wouldn't say explosive, uh, but more dynamic today. So for all the exercises, the goal is not to jump as high as you can or jump as far as you can or as fast as you can. Um, it's to stay dynamic and keep a solid rhythm all the way through all the exercises of all these sets. Um, it's still gonna be very technical. You're gonna build a bunch of lactic acid and your heart rate is also gonna go higher. So you're gonna burn more calories, which is <laughs> nice. nice. It's also closer to actual skating. Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. The whole point of doing these slow movements that we've done previously. Oh, how was this Sophia from Russia? Hello. Um, the whole point of doing the slow movements that we've done up until now is to really focus on the movement we have more time to execute everything properly whereas now we've done that for what three weeks four weeks mm -hmm. quite a while so we're gonna take it to the next step where we put a little speed on it and, uh, and try and imitate skating a little more it's still gonna be super skating specific um, it's still gonna be limited rest even the set rest is gonna be a lot yeah it's only two minutes yeah Sorry about that. Yeah, it's gonna be intense, 30 minutes, but it's short, but yeah. intense. Short, it's not gonna be fun. We got some people joining. We'll wait a few more seconds for, uh, for everybody to get ready. Let us know where you're from. We uh, would love to have an uh, international s skating group here. It's pretty cool. Let's see, we got the first 16 people watching. I think last, last workout we reached 30, 35, 40 maybe. Uh, that was pretty cool. Oh, oh thanks, thanks a lot for the the super chat, Marek. Oh, and th yeah, it's a pleasure to do these online workouts, uh, and it's really cool to have you guys. Uh, it's nice to see that we can also reach Poland. Uh, Motivate us a little more. Yeah, it makes it more fun. Uh, otherwise, we could just do this at home in <laughs> our uh, in our living room. And um, but we we like to share it with you guys, and uh, we hope that a lot of people can benefit from this. Hola. I'm from Spain. <laughs> so nice. So big shout out to you uh, from Poland for uh, Marek Spriswa. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know. You try. I gave my best effort. <laughs> you want to try? Okay. okay. Um, if you have any questions, we'll make sure to try and answer those before we start the exercises. Because it's hard to talk. Yes, trust us. <laughs> We're not gonna be so talkative today for uh, yeah. for one main reason is that we can't. Uh, is that Germany? Servus, guten Tag, Deutschland. Um, so we're gonna go through the exercises. There's five exercises and we go for one minute on, one minute off if you do the hard version, if you're doing the, the medium hard version. Yeah, it's like 45 seconds, 115 off. And if you just started, Take it easy, 30 seconds on, one and a half minute off. Yeah, and trust us when we say that technique is more important than strength and cardio yeah. and whatever. So make sure you have the basic right and it's better to do 30 seconds but do it really well, stay low, stay efficient. Oh, thanks again. We're here. Oh, thanks. Spasiba. Oh. Spasiba. Pavel. Pavel, spasiba. I'll also say thanks a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Ochem spasiba. Is that correct? Yeah, for sure, I like your message. Uh, good luck, everyone. <laughs> I wish you good luck. Bonjour la France. Ça fait plaisir de vous voir. Um, okay, so what we said is that... Motivated. Yeah. <laughs> God, now we're really gonna, gonna work through for this. Um, so the, the rest depends how long you want to do it. Uh, one thing goes for everybody uh, is that um, every every two minutes we're gonna start one new exercise. So we go through every exercise of the five exercises um, and then we will uh, we'll start over. We take two minutes rest, but then we go for another five exercises. So it's gonna be one minute, or every two minutes we start an exercise 
for a total of 10 minutes, then two minutes at rest. And uh, now we're gonna walk you through the exercises. We'll make sure to explain them before we go throughout the sets. If you forget, you can always look in the description. Also, if you wanna do, if you're not with us live and you just wanna fast forward to where we start, you can uh, look down below in the description and, uh, and you'll see all the exercises and guidelines for how to do them. Yeah, we'll guide you for the all exercises now. Yeah, first one, you probably heard of it. Yeah, first one is the most basic one called skate jump. Basic classic straight jumps? Yeah, classic straight away exercise. Yeah. Main focus should be to keep your upper body really controlled and don't jump with your upper body up and down. And keep that rhythm and through a whole minute or 45 seconds, whatever you're doing. Wouldn't it be fair if we change roles? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, the next one called skating shuffle. I've never done it before. It's also new for me, so I'm gonna probably struggle with this one too. Yeah, the main focus here should be on the hip to keep it really steady and on the try to keep it on the no. one one line. Then, yeah, don't jump with your upper body, and yeah, keep the rhythm. It doesn't have to be powerful, it doesn't have to be fast, but keep that rhythm and stay low. Yeah. Yeah. The next one is almost like the first one, a little different. It calls double skate jump. Yeah. Double skate jump, yeah. Sounds worse than it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's almost the same like the first one. Also, keep your focus on, on your, also on your arm work, how you work with your arms. It should be the same like with your legs and also focus on the upper body. Don't jump. Yeah, don't start a new jump before, before you found balance after the first. Otherwise you're just gonna create a habit of, of, of bad skating, of bad jumping. Um, so fix it before you get into a wrong rhythm and, and stay in that nice pattern. Take the time you need. Technique first. Yeah. Um, as, as you may have noticed now that, uh, or you probably will feel that throughout the program, we put the most technical exercises at first. Yeah. Uh, the reason for this is so once you're still somewhat a person and can keep it together up here, um, you have the capacity to focus a little more and, and look good when you do it. Uh, then at the end of it, when you're pretty tired, we, uh, we kind of put that together with the, or created the opportunity to go full ham and really yeah build in the more physical aspect of the workout once you are already tired. So we try to put simple movements at the end of it and the more technical exercises when you're fresh in the beginning. Obviously at the last set, none of this is gonna be that fun. Yeah. But there's only three sets. Yeah, only three sets, only 30 minutes of suffering. Yeah. We, we're all free to go. We, uh, we can start in a few minutes. So uh, if anybody has any questions, now is the time. Will I participate in inline marathons? Um, for the moment, there is no inline marathons. I'm sad for all the inline skaters that uh, were expecting to skate Berlin Marathon this year. I heard it just got canceled. Um, I would love to skate some inline marathons. I think that's what I'm good at on inline skates. Um, but for the moment, I'm 100% focused on ice and uh, yeah, all in for the Olympics. So I'll have to wait if it's, uh, if it's compromising that. Oh, Mexico, cool. Hey, Elena, nice to hear that you're with us from uh, New York. Stay healthy over there. 
uh, there will be pain tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, there yes, will. we will. There we will be. promise you pain tomorrow. Yeah. The soreness is gonna be real. Hey, Slovakia. Slovakia, yeah. Oh, going to skate outside. That sounds pretty nice. Uh, we found a not too bad place here in Portugal as yeah. well. We also skate outside once a week. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, there's a nice kind of racing track. They had European uh, European championships and in inline skating there some years ago, so we should not complain. Okay, if everybody's ready, we will start set one in one minute. It's cool to see we had we reached 34 viewers. Uh, let's see how many of you can stick with us until the end of it. And uh, I'm the best. Thanks. You're the best. <laughs> you're, you're keeping up with us, so uh, so that goes out to everybody. <laughs> so let's do this. It's gonna be a total of 34 minutes. It's gonna be hard, uh, but it's gonna be fun, and then I promise it's gonna be worth it. It's much nicer to suffer now than at the end of a race, race where skating well is important. Uh, it will pay off. Yeah, now the whole goal of the workout is to suffer, so let's suffer. Which stretching should be done after your exercise? Good question. Uh, we won't have the time to talk about this before we start. Maybe. You can always make it a super chat and we'll see it after, <laughs> so we'll remember for sure. First one, super simple, skate jumps. We start in 10 seconds to get ready. Sophia is gonna show it from the side, I'll show it from the front so you can get both angles. Start in two seconds and here we go. I won't be able to. Uh, stretching, supplement after work. Whew, so glad you asked. I don't know if you can answer that. I am currently writing my bachelor in post-workout <laughs> nutrition. Um, the best is 80% carbohydrates, and then the remaining 20% should be protein. Try and get the protein from an animalistic source, so from meat or whey protein would be good. And then the carbs should be simple carbohydrates, toast bread, or isotonic. In 10 seconds we start, we're starting the skate shuffle. I'll try and mention when we're done 30 seconds. Starting five, it's okay to have a little forward movement here. That helps you get the rhythm. Let's go. That's a different heart rate, yeah. right? Yeah. Hope so. Oh. What stretching should be done? You want to take that? Oh, not Sophia's not. She's out. Today it takes more than super chat to make us answer. 
Oh, we still got 30 more seconds. So stretching after after workout like this, you could stretch a little, not too much. Uh, this is still dynamic. So unlike the previous workouts where we break down even more muscle fibers, you don't want to stretch it too much because you're going to rip it even more apart and recovery time is going to, going to be prolonged. You can do a little stretching after, but it's not, really not necessary. Next up. Double skate. Double skate jumps in three seconds. Two, one, go. Else under 45 seconds? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mia's responsible for 45 seconds. How's it going? Is it okay to do one side push on each leg? Yes, we even thought about making this 15, 15, 15, 15. Uh, but given that a lot of us, or a lot of you, uh, might be limited by the amount of space you, uh, you have right now uh, due to COVID-19. Uh, yeah, one, one push is possible. We like explosive skating imitations or two, Three. We're gonna do three here. That's mainly to still be within the camera. Starting 15. I'll go far. Remember, first side can be a little harder than the rest because we got this lactic acid shock. Oh. What's happening out there? Simone's asking in Danish if we're having a beer break. Yeah. What kind of exercise to increase power? Any energy? Okay. Um, well, uh, the first exercises, you can do these exercises, but for much shorter time and um, as, as fast as you can, as high as you can, as powerful as you can. It's gonna be a great power speed workout. We start in 10 seconds. Uh, there's no need to eat any energy or drink any energetic drinks during the workout, but make sure you keep that through. So Perfectly vertical. 
starts to get hard. We're halfway. Last one of the set. 45. basically just a single minute more than the rest of it uh, don't sit down stand up at least shake the legs, yeah, shake the legs. You gotta drink water, Get some water in. <laughs> I don't know who the viewer is who mentioned that every time but thanks we do have a bad habit of forgetting to drink I think most athletes actually do <laughs> and then he drinks two liters right away after mm. <laughs> I'll try and drink them as we go can we take the same protein which bodybuilder take after workout? Uh, I don't know, bodybuilders are really sketchy and they take a lot of stuff that I wouldn't put my hands on and definitely not try and <laughs> consume. Um, but if you're talking about classic whey protein or soy protein, or like, there's no, no reason why any protein wouldn't be good for you. Um, uh, some proteins are easier to absorb or faster to absorb for the body. Um, so those would be ideal, that could be whey protein or basically any kind of meat you would find. Uh, so I would recommend that as a post-workout protein. Maybe hey, Basque right. Country. Hola, como estas? Bienvenido. Is that Italian? Uh, I think it's Spanish. Yeah? Como estas? No? That is. Bienvenido? Maybe Mexico. <laughs> no hablo bueno español? Gracias por uh, regadar. That's all we need. Three years of Spanish classes and that's all I know. <laughs> we start in five seconds. Skate jumps. Two, one. And on the way with set two. Incredibly warm here. I think it's like 200 Fahrenheit, at least. I'm not gonna Fahrenheit. Given that our breaks are short today, we don't have time to answer so many questions or to explain a lot or energy to explain a lot. Uh, we can do a Q&A after if you're down. We'll take a little break after and then a Q&A. So we'll stay around if you have a question regarding dry land or anything in skating. What? Yeah, we can sit and chill in the grass, get coffee. Focus. It's gonna make you forget about the pain. 
great benefit. We're more than halfway. Relaxing everything you're not using. Keep the core tense. Shield the shoulder. Shield the arms if you have them on the back. Pretty hard. <clears throat> so compact. So less movement, more restrictions. <clears throat> hey from Italy. Oh, ciao. Bye bye bye. Last is like <laughs> yes. I think that one we just did in the last one yeah, are incredibly on outer. Uh, it doesn't hurt. I don't know if you have to land on it because when you skate you land right on the top of it and then it's just the whole lean of the body that we can't really imitate here that enables you to double push. Double push won't feel like you're skating that way but you'll just skate right under your body weight. Uh, so not necessarily. When you push off you can try and have a little more weight on the outside of the, the sole because then you won't collapse on the knee. We're starting five. So with a double. Double up. Here we go. halfway no yeah math is off good job still got 23 people with us that's impressive i don't know if we counted two people anymore <laughs> two legless people are out here trying to explain it is it time for some heart rates i'm at 150 166 my threshold is 160. <laughs> I'm out there. Now we got the side jumps. What? Like push push yeah, side pushes. We start in 10 seconds. Rip shoes. Rip legs. exercise so we get a little more time to catch the breath oh. cheers to all still alive <laughs> yeah oh we might as well go hard we're gonna be dead tomorrow anyways 30 seconds 
We've got one more minute. And then we're basically... <laughs> we're gonna do low five, low five. <laughs> Just think it's the morning job. Just making me embarrassed in front of certain people. <laughs> okay, we started three. That, didn't, that was all my edge. I didn't have a high five. Let's go. One minute, 45 seconds, or 30 seconds. We get an extra minute of rest. Get low, get the rhythm. Don't, you don't have to jump high, just do it. Control. You want to start the jump, the development, right at the bottom, so you don't wait until your legs are almost free. Just as when you're out in line skating, it's very limited how much power you can create at the end of your stroke, compared to the beginning when you have your legs right under the center of gravity. 30 seconds. And that's it for the rest. We done lunches. One seventy. Oh boy. Can anybody beat one seventy? Got a one fifty two. What are your heart rate max? Oh, more and more people with us. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> Last 10 minutes. Well, if you just join and wonder why we look like this, <laughs> scroll 20 minutes back. And, uh. Big shout out to the people at Death. Nice, Simone. If you saw the comment from, from Simon Bigler, he's a Danish skater and one of my best friends who I uh, trained with a lot and I also helped out with the coaching for a few years. And uh, he also took up this challenge and joined us. So there's one more uh, really good skater. So if you're keeping up, that's impressive. <laughs> um, yeah, let's make a little shout out for the super chats we got in the beginning of the video. You can super chat by clicking on the little dollar sign in the live chat next to the screen. Hit that and you can donate any amount from one dollar or even maybe half a dollar. Uh, I know it doesn't make sense that we we uh, give you pain for money, <laughs> it should be the other way around. But if you want to support this, we promise to make more videos. Uh, this is the only live of the week, but we will have uh, some videos posted on the channel. So uh, hit subscribe, hit super, super chat. Yeah, and we promise to make you heard on a weekly basis. <laughs> it's the best we need a better advertising Speaking of which, we started last one, best one, 15 seconds. It's supposed to hurt, so if it hurts, you're doing it right. You can thank us later. Not at all. Thank you. Five <laughs> seconds. I think we lost, we lost all love out there. Two, one. Simple skate jumps. Rhythm, breathe. Make it nice. At the end of the race, it's always gonna hurt. What makes a difference is how you look when you're hurting. Think of how you do it how hard it is, even though it's hard. Halfway. behind. We also have the break. Fourth and maximum today. See if we can find a winner out there. Sophia had 173 heart rate. You're still alive. <laughs> Impressive. Where are we from? You haven't, you haven't uh, <laughs> caught the accident. I'm from Denmark. Sophia's from Russia. 
We're in Portugal right now. We escaped from uh, all the corona mess. It's somewhere really nice and warm. Kind of backfiring right now when it's 25 degrees. Next one is the skate shuffle. Five seconds. That was it. Okay, three more exercises, three minutes. Nothing compared to what we already did. Stay strong, 30 people watching. It's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. How about or someone's dancing? I'm just one person that it hurts. 30 people? Don't worry, faint. So many new countries today, so cool. We appreciate it. So nice to see so many people. Two more, two more minutes. It's like a few more laps. If you're slow. <laughs> if I hurt this much, I'd be slow. Should we take energy, energy drinks during this workout? Uh, it's not necessary. Pretty sure you can get through 36 minutes or 34 minutes of exercise with no energy. Um, if you're already fueled well, but drink a lot. Uh, you can also start your recovery already by mixing your water with isotonic stuff, some quick sugar sugars. Uh, so yeah, not necessarily, but it's a big plus. Okay, do this, 15 seconds. Make the side jumps count. count. <laughs> Throw up the human. Start in three. Ah, half laugh, half cry. Go.
Solid. See how many made it through this whole workout? Give us a thumb up if you're still alive, you've been through the whole thing. Two more. Serbia, nice. Hey, Serbia. Oh, it might be a little late, but I'm pretty sure you can still get that last minutes of suffering if you're, <laughs> if you're joining just right now. Oh, 30 seconds, and then give it your best. You don't have to go all out. That's what we did in the skate jumps in the beginning of the last sessions. Today is just about that dynamic rhythm, nice movements. Yeah, make this, make all these movements a habit. So once you get, once you get really tired, it's just there on the backbone. Naturally. Five seconds, and there's the last minute of the, today, the whole week. Here comes Ryan. Let's go. Back. Okay, she goes me back. No high fives in this. There's only low fives. Yeah. Hey, Anna. Hey, okay, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Nasha. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Is rhythm important or perfection important? Oh, it's got deep. Uh, if you have no rhythm, it's gonna be really hard skating. Uh, I think perfection is impossible. So strive for the second and uh, make sure to have the first. Justin B, I love that name. Thank you, sir. Thanks for joining. Uh, we promised at first that we would have a little Q&A session. I'm gonna spam a little with the super chat function. We do this out of our own pocket, our own time, uh, and, uh, and we enjoy it, but it would be really nice with uh, some super chats. We can buy a better tripod than this air mattress uh, box that we've been using to put the mobile phone on today. <laughs> so that's gonna benefit all of us. Uh, we promise to buy better equipment. If you help us out a little. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, thank Thanks a lot. Same way alcohol is great for speaking foreign languages, dry land is terrible. That's funny though. That's right. We appreciate it, even though I don't know how to say it. Um, I'll teach you it. We? We? Eta. Eta. We senium eta. Thanks. Okay, we uh, will be yours for the next 5 10 minutes. Um, we could also make a Q&A session during the week, um, yeah, now that we only have one dryland session. Um, the reason we should uh, tease a little for what's coming next, the reason we only have one session this week is because for us it's our recovery week. Uh, this didn't seem like recovery, but it's nice to activate the legs a little throughout it so it's not like hibernating, uh, especially when we get back. So next Monday, uh, so we still have some bike rides, some dryland. We have, what, six workouts during the week. So it's not super packed, maybe half of what we usually do. Um, just to recover and then we're gonna start a whole new training block which also means the dryland schedule is gonna be completely different it's gonna be 
uh, to a wider extent or larger extent, we're gonna have more of this stuff. Um, <laughs> Simone, <laughs> thanks for asking, Simon. Yes, I'm one down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help that Sophia went to the Olympics when she was like 12. Uh, yeah, Sophia's been to two Olympics, I've been to one. We had the same result, so I can't beat her in that either. Um, it wasn't the same race. Anyway, oh, I got fourth in my first. Got, God damn it. Well, thanks for asking. <laughs> This is why I do one minute, she does 45. And this is why I have to demonstrate and she explains. He, he's smarter though. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, um, <laughs> speaking of Microsoft, no. Um, so we're starting a whole new block of the season where this was our adaptation period where we got used to, <laughs> to training again. Um, and we worked on some of our weaknesses. In the description, there is some prehab exercises. We recommend them for warm-up. We've been working on that to get stronger angles, uh, to get a little more stable around the knees, uh, stronger back and whatsoever. Uh, so that's what we've been doing up until now. And from this point and on, we're uh, gonna put in a lot of quantity, build that strong base for the competition laying, a, laying ahead of us. Uh, a good thing for you guys, given that the inline season has been uh, postponed a bit, you can uh, join us even if you're not ice skaters because uh, this is going to build a base. So if you're not peaking in the near future, this is really, really good money in the bank. Good investment. So join us for that. Oh, no. thanks. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> we really yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> thanks a lot. Who is that? Leonard Kemp. Thanks a lot. We appreciate that. Uh, and we love to do this. And uh, it's even more fun to share it with people, share it with you guys. We also love to hear your comments when you're um, when you're letting us know how it feels, if it's hard, if it's easy, uh, it's super cool. If you can beat Sophia's heart rate, that's even more impressive. I'm so interesting stuff. <laughs> so this was the only dry line for this week. We'll make a QA and a later. Um, you can uh, hit us up on Instagram and, and ask us questions there and we'll make sure to mention them when we do the, the Q&A later this week. Um, we'll make sure to let you know here in the YouTube. So if you click subscribe and uh, hit the notification button, we will, um, we will let you know and you're gonna have a little notification to know when we're doing the Q&A. And uh, then from that point on, next whole month, maybe two months, we're gonna come up with new workout programs, new dry land uh, exercises, protocols, training sessions. And the good thing here is that if you've been with us for the last sessions, you got the basics to, uh, to build from. We had all these slow movements, so you got the balance, you got the skills, uh, you got what it takes to uh, to keep it up for what's coming. And uh, that's where we build the real strength that we can use on the skates in the end. Um, yeah, let us know if you have any questions now. We will, uh, are there any exercises which can be done on skates, but inside apartments? God, that's what we talked about. Yeah, but I've never done exercises on skates before. <laughs> um, if it's not on the ice. <laughs> We've, that's very interesting though. Yeah, it is interesting. Uh, I would say I've done in, actually different training groups I've been in over the years. Uh, I've done quite a few, never inside, but done it, uh, especially in inline skates, where they're meant to be standstill exercises to improve balance, stability, and all that. Uh, we've done them in the grass, or we've done them on the asphalt, uh, just to give that extra aspect of really controlling it, because you don't have the natural movement that comes with speed. And uh, we talked about a little, yeah. uh, how we could put that together as a, as a full, almost training program, or at least, of exercise. Uh, we, can work that this week. we have some extra time. We also thought of a cool thing. Should we announce our little uh, t-shirt branding? All right, we'll let you know later on, but uh, we thought this training together community, community online is really cool and we love to be a part of it. And uh, we figured it'd be cool if we could like share uh, photos or experiences and then somehow relate it to the workouts um, in a cool way. So Sophia right now is working on designing some really nice t-shirts, some other cool gear. We already found a logo yeah. um, that we're gonna call Skate Army. Uh, if you think that is cool, uh, it should be possible. Let us to, know if you have any other Yeah. Ideas. Cool hashtags or what yeah. we can write on shirts. Like the brand is gonna be Skate Army. So you can order a t-shirt. Uh, we won't be selling them. Uh, so it's not like a big profit for us. It goes th straight through another company, but just to have this 
t-shirt thing in common. Um, we thought of Skate Army uh, as the brand. That's gonna be the name of it. And then the different shirts could say cool things like yeah. eat, skate, sleep, repeat, or uh, everyday skate day, or do you even skate bro? Uh, <laughs> we thought of different things. Um, yeah, so let's, yeah. if you have any ideas, let us know. Yeah, help help with some inspiration there. That also helps to get a, get mind out of the skating <laughs> things. That is true. Um, yeah, good for a recovery week. Yeah. Um, yeah, if that was all for today, we enjoyed having you people here. Yeah. It's so cool. We look forward to dryland now, yeah, whereas before <laughs> it was more more the hard part of skating that we wouldn't enjoy that much yeah um but it's nice yeah don't forget to cool down just walk yeah. around shake your legs do that all the lactic acid should be uh shogun out of the legs so if you have some stairs at home just walk the stairs a little but super chill you can even do some light jumps um <laughs> you're awesome too thanks yeah, thank you it's cool to have you guys join it's it is really cool yeah it's nice. Also, we can't back out. We promised you guys to do 45 seconds, do a full minute. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't really talkative. It was really hard. It was really hard. <laughs> you could see that. I couldn't really talk much. I think our goal is not to finish, just to, yeah. to be able to speak while doing this. Um, you did really great. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, thanks. Yeah. Stay, thanks for your stay super tuned chat. For, yeah, thanks for the super chat. Yeah. That is seriously uh, really nice to see that uh, you're also interested in, in us making this and uh, it's just nice motivation. It's, uh, it's a little hobby of ours to share this part of our skating career. Let's go eat, fuel up, some yeah. cool down. See you next week. Yeah, if you have more questions after the live, if you're not watching this live, you can comment and uh, we'll be back on YouTube and, and we'll reply to comments anyways. Uh, but it was cool. Yeah. Peace out. Peace out.